ladies. Hey, y'all, I just had a really, really, um, first of all, I just got to say thank you, Jesus. I just had a, a really scare just now. Um, just a really, 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 really scare. Okay, so I had somebody to come by the, um, to look at um, the motorcycle or whatever. And so I was on the phone and I, I put her in her bassinet and I, I go out and, um, Jesus, I go out and, um, I, I put her in her, oh, excuse me, baby. I put her in her swing and I go out to proceed to show the person the motorcycle. And while I'm showing the motorcycle and everything and he, and I tell him, yeah, you, you're fine. You can look at the bike. And when I went to go and look and turn around the door was locked and i was like why is the door locked because the you know sometimes the bottom locks can lock it <sighs> y'all i went to the front door the door was locked i went to the back door the sliding door was locked my heart just dropped and i i mean when i tell you my heart dropped y'all my heart dropped I went to go to the front of the house to check the windows to see if any window was open. And I'm like, oh, my God, I got to get in here. And because my, I mean, oh, my gosh, just thank you, Jesus. So I was thinking, like, I'm going to have to call um the, the fire department or I may have to call my in-laws, y'all. It was just so much stuff. I'm like, what if she's crying right now? I mean, even though I just left, I was just like, oh, my gosh, like, Lord, what am I going to do? So I even went to the back side of the house and there's a small window and I went to try to kick it because I'm like, forget this. I'm going to kick this window and I'm going to get in to go get my baby. Forget it, you know. So um, that didn't work. I mean, I'm shaking so bad, shaking so bad. So um, and I usually keep the, the sliding black door open because I let Solo out or whatever like that. So, anywho, um, the guy's like, are you okay? I'm like, oh, my baby is in the house. And I have no way to get in it, into it. And I'm, I'm like, I don't have no spare key. I don't, I'm like, oh, Jesus, what do I do? What do I do? And so, um, I'm like, Lord, please. So, the same window that I was trying to kick in, and it was double panel, so that didn't do anything. The same window, um... I just I just proceeded to just check it and I pushed it y'all and when I pushed it up I was able to jump in and I'm running upstairs through I'm running upstairs through the um the basement and when I went to open the basement door that leads you to the main lo and behold the door's locked because I locked the basement door Y'all, I was like a firefighter in this thing. I had to kick the door, kick the door. And once I got the bottom open, I was able to put my hand up and unlock it. And I ran all the way upstairs. And there she was sitting in her swing, just as calm, not even crying, chilling. And I realized I would never, ever do that ever again. So that was just one of my most scariest experiences, thinking I locked my baby in the house. With no keys on me. And she crying. She crying. And then lo and behold. When I finally get her situated. And I proceed to go. And um, because this person is still looking at the bike. Or whatever like that. And I let my dog out back. When I go. When I proceed to go. To see with this gentleman. Here's Solo. He's just like hey bye. Like he's about to go on the street. And I'm like get back in the yard. Because the back gate was open for me going back there. Anyway, y'all, that was the most scariest experience. I will honestly, truly tell you this. If you are to leave the house, make sure that you are able to have a, a spare key on you that you can get in your house. Or make sure that those doors don't have a... Um, sometimes at the bottom, they'll have it at a lock automatically. Just make sure, because I'm going to tell y'all right now, my heart went to my toenails. It did. And I was just thinking to myself, she's a crier if she doesn't see me around for long. And uh -uh, I mean, I just went into panic mode. Like I would start breaking windows around here 
And so, um, and immediately after that, once, uh, you know, of course I gave God the glory and thanking him that it wasn't the other way around, but it just completely started pissing me off because I'm in a situation where I'm trying to make do in order for us to, you know what I'm saying? Trying to, I just thank God, y'all. I'm not even going to lie. That scared the daylights out of me like that. Really? Like when I tell you, it scared me. And I just thank God out of all of the windows, that one window was still unlocked. And I just thank God. And it wasn't like, oh, you unlock and then you could just climb. I had to jump down in. Like you thought I was a power ranger out this thing. But I'm, um, Jesus, that just scared the daylights out of me. And it, it it made me upset. Like I shouldn't have to be going through these things. I should I shouldn't have to be sitting up here, um, getting someone to look at this, that, and the third. And I usually make sure you know people are around or this, that, and the third. But I figured, okay, hey, you know. But I shouldn't even be in a situation like that. But anyway, I'm not even going to give it to the devil. Thank you, Jesus, that I was able to get back in the house and that she was not even crying because it could have turned very ugly. It could have turned the other way, but it didn't. It didn't. But I learned a valuable lesson. I don't care who. I'm making sure I got my spare keys on me. Even if I leave out front, I'm checking doors. That was scary. That was so, so, so scary. So I just wanted to give y'all um i just i just want to give y'all an update on that and uh, you know that was that was real scary um the guy the gentleman he didn't buy the um the bike which i'm like at this point i i, I had that on my mind like that could have been another you know the i know things happen but i i, I can't um i just thank god I just thank God. Thank you, Jesus. That she's okay. You're okay. Yeah, you're okay. Yeah. You're okay. Mommy mommy got scared. Jesus. All of, not one door was open, y'all. But thank you, Lord, for that one window. That one window. Thank you, Jesus. For that one window. God is with me. God is with me. So I just wanted to let y'all know that. But hey, baby in the house, if you leave enough for two, I don't care if you check in the mail. Take your keys with you. Make sure you make sure you make sure you take your keys with you. Yeah. Yeah. Take your keys with you, y'all. Um, no matter what. Don't not even for a split second. You know, you just never know. You never know. That was not even I just thank God it didn't turn away it did, but that just shook me up. I need to I need to chill. <laughs> Whoo, that just shook me up. Oh, that just shook me up, y'all. But everything everything turned out good. I just know next time. Won't be doing that again. Won't be doing that again. And I, like I said, it, it it had me in the mode that when it was over with, I was so upset because I'm like, I should have never been put in a situation to have to, you know, wait on somebody to see if they're going to buy this. And it, it, it just brought me away from my daughter for a split second. It, it really could have turned horrible, but I'm, I'm glad in the name of Jesus, it, you know, God worked it out. That one window was open. That one window was open, but I'm going to try. Oh, Jesus. It just scared me, y'all. So I'm just letting y'all know. New mothers or mothers or whatever, if you're leaving out the house for a split second, if you if you can't take baby with you, take your keys. Take your keys. Take your keys. And I and I thank God that when I came back up here, she was just chilling. She was looking around. I'm like, thank you, Father. 